It's Rude, reusers of unloved discarded excess, and it's Rude Girl here in my studio. I am going to repair a couple of holes in this very vintage towel. Rude uses vintage towels. We love them. We really like their softness, the worn-in feel. They're very absorbent. This one here is from Burlington, Indiana, New York. 100% cotton from Burlington House. So we rescued this from landfill. Have soaked it. It's had some bleaching here. That doesn't matter. As far as we're concerned, it does the job. And the holes... Uh, there's a hole here and there's another hole here. Wouldn't think of throwing these towels out. Even when the ends of the towels go, when they've all frayed, what I do is I overlock with the overlocker and keep them in use. Well, here I am at my Janome Miles Style 32S. I've got the Alna darning foot in. I've threaded up the machine. The tension here is normally on three for normal sewing, but it goes up to zero for darning. And the feed dogs are down on this machine. There's a lever here at the back that puts the feed dogs down. The width is on zero and the stitch length is on three as per the recommendations in the manual. Well here is my first attempt. Hope you can see it there. There we go, maybe that's better. So it's just here. And it has done reasonably well. It's covered in that very big hole. Well, this is the second hole and I've placed it, the uh, towel in a hoop. This is the blind leading the blind here. So bear with me. This isn't really a DIY. It's me experimenting. But at least you see it's happening here on the spot. Why wouldn't Rude Girl just cut up these towels and use them as rags. Well, they're still good, and we like to beat the man. We've written about that on our blog at Rude Record on WordPress. Okay. So I've got the hoop in. Now, we'll just uh, back and forward, back and forward. Let's go. Drop the foot. Yes, I've dropped the foot. The needle's in the work. I'm just going to move back and forward. It's amazing how the hole is actually covered in. Fascinating. And then I'm going to turn it a quarter and go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Got to just keep this out of the way here. Right. Okay. So good. So much fun. Don't have to worry too much about what you're doing. It's amazing how good this does look. Incredible. How easy is that? Okay, see what it looks like. Hopefully I've filled it all in. Looks like I have. Hopefully I can get it out here. Don't know why it's stuck. Wait a sec, there we go. So I'll just chop it off there. And here it is. Hopefully you can see that. There. That's it there. Unbelievable. How's that? And on the other side, still got the cotton in there, but that's how it looks on the other side, just around there. 
There you go. Tell. Rescued. For us to use again. There's the finished result there. A little bit easier to see on the white bench. So very, very happy with that. There's the other one. Really easy to do.